After this video you can calculate the running total. There are two ways I want to show you in this video. In the first example I will show you how you can calculate the running total using a slicer. So here on the left I have my sales amount in my line chart and here also in this matrix my sales amount. And here I have my date slicer and I want to use this date slicer to calculate my running total. So what you can do, you can calculate this one in DAX. So here I will select my matrix and I will add my cumulative total all selected measure. And as you can see here, this one is calculating the running total. And when I use this slicer, you can see it starts always with the with the first line and then it calculates the running total like this and you can see it also here this is my sales amount and this is my running total and as you can see it starts with zero and it will add up the formula for this is i will calculate my sum sales amount and i will filter my date with the all selected function so i will calculate this one with filter date table and then i'm going to calculate the running total so this is the way you can calculate the running total and also use the date slicer to determine your start and end date like this you can see here also the first and the last date in my slice in my second example i will calculate the running total but i want to ignore the date filtering so i want to calculate from the beginning from the start so from july 2017 i want to calculate the running total until my max date for my end date so i will select this matrix and i've made a duct functionality as you can see here i will calculate the sales amount but i will ignore all the filters on the date table as you can see here so now the amount is the same with all selected and all but when I change this date slicer, you can see the cumulative total all will stay the same and the all selected will change because the, the all will calculate from the start. So July 2017 and all selected will start with in May 2018. And as you can see here, this one will start at the beginning. So this is the all selected and the all doesn't start at the beginning. So these are the main difference between these two. So you can calculate the running total from the start first uh, sales amount with the all functionality and you can calculate the running total from a specific date as you can see here. So these are the two formulas so the first one i'm going to use the slicer so i will calculate the sum sales amount but i will filter the date table with only the selected dates and in the second one i will also calculate the sales amount and i will ignore all the date filters i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time bye